three, two, one. Mark, a terrific performance by the players after last week. Yeah, we, we, we owed it everybody. We owed it ourselves, we owed it the supporters, we owed it the, the club. Um, and it's a, it's a start of the way back, no more. 30 games to go. We've just ticked one of them off with three points. A good away performance. I thought, thought we were the better side. I thought, you know, they had a few chances second half when they, they were throwing caution to the wind, but, you know, out of the two systems that matched each other up, I thought we played it far better um, than they did. You know, once, once they got a goal down, they obviously had to throw more players forward and, and committed stuff. And, um, they had a goal at us, but I thought we helped. You know, Scott has made a couple of saves. But you know, I think we've, I think we've done a really good job today. And, and can you put your finger on the difference in performances between this week and last week? Not exactly. Um, they were obviously desperately disappointed from last week, but it shouldn't take that to put in a performance like we've just put in. Um, they're a good bunch. We just we didn't do ourselves any favours last week whatsoever. Um, you know, our league form of, of the last seven or eight games has been decent, and hopefully, like I said on, on I've said all week, hopefully we can come with a late run this year rather than rather than being up there all season. Uh, we've got the capabilities within the squad. Supporters were tremendous, and um, it was a it's been a good day. And, and the supporters talk, who we talked to were, were most pleased by the commitment and the attitude of the players. Yeah, I, I, but believe me, they, they didn't go out last week to, to not look interested or not to put the commitment in. It just didn't happen for us and, and sometimes that happens. It, it hasn't happened too often over the last you know, three years. Um, unfortunately, it happened at Tamworth when we needed to be totally committed. We, didn't, we, weren't, we weren't quite at it and you know, we got found out and we've took a lot of stick from it. We've, a lot of questions have been asked, but I think... I think we've answered a couple back today. Um, you know, we've got quality in the squad. We've got endeavour and hard work, and, and, and the spirit's never been in question for me. They just we haven't had the results. Um, I think we're four unbeaten now, and it's a it's a dressing room that you want to be in. It's you know you want that every week, and this this, this group's capable of doing it. And it's a tight league as well. I've said that all along, Pete. All along. Jamie Curtin, great, great team. He could have had four today, I think. He, uh, well, four or five. I thought first half, first minute, showed his instincts with a 30-yard lob. Um, second one, he had a strike that keepers made a really good save. He scored his goal. He had another great chance just before that. He had a great chance just after that with when his, his movement and Matt's ball was, was superb. Um, we looked a constant threat all day today. And uh, we were disappointed at half-time not to have converted but we, we said you know it's been a great a great start to the to the game and just let's make sure that we, we follow it through with the performance in the second half where we have to you have to dig you're away from home no one's gonna just you know go powder puff and do nothing against you we, we had to dig in second half but from from conceding a goal I'd like to have a look at that again I, I, you know it was poor our part I'd say um, but a good finish from the lad we've gone straight down the other end and scored and took a bit of stuffing out of their sails and, and hopefully wind out of their sails and, and we I thought we thought we were good winners today. I think it's fair to say that the fullbacks are just as a group have taken a bit of stick this season but the system today showed them at their best. Yeah I, I, you know, I've taken stick about playing Craig at right back. He, Craig can play the foot and like I said to you he, he uses his right foot as much as he does his left. I thought today was his best game for me. I thought he was excellent. First half he defended well but he but he gave us the width we needed. When we play that system, you need some width. I'd had a good chat with Sido. Um, I didn't think his mind's been clear. He's, I think he's just been a bit confused in his performances. Been brilliant one minute and, and making mistakes the next. Just spoke to him on Wednesday, told him to clear his head. And I thought he put in a really solid, really solid decent performance and, and that's what I need of him you know he's, he, he came to his football club two years ago and, and was a revelation and I think his, his standards have just dropped for whatever reason this season I thought he was good last year but he hasn't been as good this year and we, we need him we need him to be at his best I thought Stevie Elliott I thought, I thought you could tell he'd had a breather and I thought he looked strong refreshed 
hungry. And that's what we need. Unfortunately, we just had a we've had a sticky start. We know we knew we knew that all along, and you know we, we we're not shying away from that fact. But we can we can we're four unbeaten now, and hopefully a couple of home games to come. Tough ones, but ones we can we certainly get something from. And how difficult is it to, for you to leave your captain on the bench? Yeah, no, it's, I spoke to him yesterday. It's, it's always difficult. Russ has been excellent, but I just he's, he like Sid, I don't think has been anywhere near where he was last season. And, and that happens sometimes. And you, it's how you deal with it, how you manage it. I expect Russ to have a little breather now. Whether it comes on for 15 minutes, comes on for half an hour, until until I need him. Um, and that might be next Saturday. But he's, he's having a little breather. Just, he needs just to, just to see from the sides a little bit and just have a think about it, have a look at it. And just come in, he took it brilliantly. He, he, he more than any of the squad, want, want to do well for everybody at the football club. He's a whole-hearted player. He also knows things haven't been brilliant for him this year, as, as it hasn't for us all. So, so he's prepared to roll his sleeves up. You know, he's the one in the dressing room before the game. Come on, Gaffer, we need this. And he's not in the team, so that's that's what the characters I need and we, and we, and we want at the football club. And, um, and I thought he came on and, and looked bright and lively. And hopefully, you know, be it next Saturday, be it the Tuesday, be it the Saturday after that, whenever I call upon him, he'll be he'll be ready to fire back into action. So Russell Penn you know, loves his football club. No one loves his football club more than you. How big a result is this for you? It's three points. I, listen, I, I needed it. I'm not stupid. I needed it, but because I needed to win the next game of football that we were going to play. I, I wanted to play last Sunday, never mind today. Um, it hurts me when we're not doing well. It hurts me when you know when we when we take a bit of stick and, and you know some of it's justified, some of it's not. Um, but you know, as a club, it, it was always going to be a tough season. It was always going to be a tough start. We've had a few injuries, we've had a few players out of form, but I think the group's starting to look strong. I think we found a system that suits us. I think we can play a couple of other ones if we, if we need to, if we need to change it. But I think the group's just starting to click together and hopefully we can start climbing that time. And as you say, if you were to take the Tamworth game out, the actual recent run has been pretty good. Yep. I've, I've always said that. You know, we, Nobody at this football club, I'm a, I'm a management and playing staff, went out to perform as, as we did last week. We just got bullied, and that's not like us, and we didn't play anywhere near the potential that we can, and, and we got found out. Unfortunately, the doom and gloom merchants among everybody, um, you know, thought it was the end and, and, and whatever else, but there's a lot of fight in this group. Um, there's a lot of fight in the staff, and, you know, we, we got total belief in ourselves, just we just got to keep working at it and working at it and things as they are will start to improve and it'll give everyone at the club a lift it'll give everybody of course it will you know the chairman was and the board were not haven't been pleasant people to deal with this week you know but we can't just expect you know to get through to the third round you know we don't budget for it we haven't got it what's the problem apart from the fact that we're all desperate for it and it just means i might not be able to get the loan players in that I might want at the various times. But that means we have to work even harder with the group that we've got. Um, and they have to clear their heads if they've been out of form or things haven't been going for them. And they have to put in performances like that week in, week out. And I have no doubt that they're capable of that. We've just got to make sure we do it. Mark, thanks so much. Cheers, Pete. Mark, do you think it's, have you been told that if you want any more loan signings in January, you're going to have to put yourself in a position where you're challenging? Is that the situation? Do you think if you do want to strengthen again? Um, I haven't been told that, John. I, you, were, you were at the at the fans forum the other night, at the minute, I've got to fund anything I do myself. You know, whether, whether that's a couple of players who, who aren't featuring out on loan, getting games, whatever, or you know, a bit of wheeling dealing. That's what happens sometimes with squads. They they evolve over years or sometimes over 16 games in a season. And, and you know, we openly admit that we haven't been as good as we wanted to be. And if I have to just chop and change and do a bit of wheeling and dealing, keep the, the main core of the group that I want. Um, you know, that's, that's what we have to do because you know, we're dealing reality. We haven't got the we haven't got a cup run, but we've had we've had two hell of a cup runs in the last two years, you know, so if we even it out, we're not doing too bad. Yeah, uh, apart from Jermaine, you've pretty you've got everyone available now and do you think that's close to your I think strongest that's team now? I think that's reflecting in the performances, you know, 
Um, you know, it would have been good to play Stevie last week. I just thought it was a big risk. He hadn't trained. Uh, you know, looking back on it, you know, I got questions about my about I'm saying I picked the wrong teams. Any, in hindsight, you can always look back and think, what if? And that's that's where I'm coming from. I, I always pick a team to win games of football to to perform well. It would have been nice to have played Steve, in, you know, looking back on it, and and being stronger and more horrible at the back. But you know, we weren't. He weren't. I didn't think he was quite ready for it, even though I almost was forced to throw him on at half time. But I think we, you know, with Jermaine back next Saturday, he'll be training with us Tuesday, Wednesday, depending. Um, you know, we, we we need everybody available. We've only got a small squad, so we need everybody available and performing. And and when they do, and when they there was committed and as hard working as they have been for the last seven, eight games. And, and I'm not really questioning their hard work for the majority of the season and their and their commitment. But we just haven't been winning games and that sucks a bit of confidence out you. And hopefully you know, with performances like that, with a bit of resilience like we showed today, hopefully we can we can start picking up wins on a more regular basis. Yeah, Steve Elliott, you're not like to be bullied with him at the back, are you? By no, centre forward. No, no. It was a big, big day for him today, wasn't it? Really coming back off yep. the, after that breather. Yeah, it was. Look, I mean, we've we've openly chatted in in the office and we looked at things, and I think I think he needed a breather. I really do. You know, he was making mistakes that Stevie Elliott doesn't make, and and you know we gave him a not a total breather, but you know we didn't blast him. We didn't put with a with a view to getting a breather to 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 work in his socks off. On a two-week period, we got lucky. Well, not lucky, but he actually, you know, with his injury, that he, he got a little tweak of his knee, and, and, we, and it meant Ian could get hold of him. And, and and he's he's lost a couple of pounds. He's sh sh sharpened himself up, and he looks he looks better for it. And it's just now we've got to keep on top of him and hope he plays another 30 games for us. Yeah, was, is Sam claiming the goal, or was it? Do you think uh, it's an own goal? I think goal? he is. I think I think he thinks he's got goal bonus, so we'll have to ask Mr. <laughs> Godfrey. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. If he gets it, I want half of it. No, I'm joking. Um, he, he wants it. He wants it, but but uh, I thought he I thought he did some good stuff today. I thought he snatched at a few things first half, but he's getting into positions that I wanted him to get into. Um, and I thought second half he was far more effective in terms of end product, and it resulted in the goal as well. So well done to him. Yeah. Cheers, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. Thanks.